Ken Hockey, Workboat Senior Editor, and I'm here today in Lockport, Louisiana at Bollinger Shipyards for the dedication of the Sentinel class of Coast Guard Cutter, as you see here. And uh, this is the uh, third series of patrol boats that Bollinger is building for the Coast Guard. No other shipyard has built as many. Now some of the people you'll see today on stage include Mary Landrieu, senator from uh, Louisiana, another senator from Louisiana, to David Bitter. Uh, one's a Democrat, one's a Republican, so that should be good. Uh, you've got uh, Admiral Papp, who's the Commandant of the uh, Coast Guard, as well as uh, Chris Bollinger, who's uh, in charge of this whole program, and his father, Boise Bollinger, who of course is the CEO and Chairman. And, uh, There'll be others as well, so uh, hope you enjoy it. This is a great day in the Bollinger family history. It's a great day for all of our employees and family members who work so hard to build these ships. It's a great day for the Coast Guard, and it's a great day in the life of Sentinel class of patrol boats. I am pleased that you all are with us to celebrate that today, and it's my pleasure to welcome our master ceremonies for today's programs, my son, the Executive Vice President of New Building, and the godfather of this program, Chris Bowen. Thank you, Dad. For those of you who were with us last night, he messed up my name. I said, you know, my name's been butchered a lot of times throughout my life, but never by the person who gave me my name. About the productivity, the skill, the educated work that's accomplished. I think what is absolutely true, but you've got a company that's been successful for, for decades. For them to continue to be successful right here in Louisiana, to be able to compete with shipyards all over the world, they've got to continue to have the most productive, skilled, educated workers you can find anywhere. The companies that figure that out, the states that figure that out, the countries that figure that out, are going to win in today's global economy. The work on this fleet alone means 850 direct jobs, 2,400 indirect jobs. That's really important for Louisiana and a great cause for celebration. Now my first priority, of course, will be the ships that the Coast Guard needs right here to do the work, the day in and day out work of the Coast Guard. We cannot wait to get them out there performing operational missions for our country and for our Coast Guard. And we are grateful to the Bonham Shipyard, the Bonham family, and all the workers that have put their blood, sweat, and tears into this product.